Good morning folks and welcome. Thank you for dropping in. Uh, it's a cool what, 14 degrees, early September, autumn already and we are, that's an exciting day and tinge with a touch of sadness day because today is the last day I will own this machine. This is my last ride on the machine. So you know, we're going to get our new machine shortly. Um, but I thought I'd give a little summary of the Goldwing and my thoughts on it and the reasons why I'm changing it. So I've had the Goldwing from you for oh, less than two years, 20 months I think it is, 20, 22 months, that's it, 22 months I've had it and uh, we've done 12,800 miles in that time which is probably a little bit lower than my average, I think. And uh, it's, it's, it's moving on. So the good and the bad, well, I don't think there's any true bad, it's just preferences, isn't there? That, that, I mean, I can't say anything bad about the Goldwing. It's an, an amazing machine. Um, it is uh, fast enough, it is agile enough, um, and although it's a very heavy beast, especially two up, full of luggage, it's extremely heavy, you're getting like half a ton, and you don't have the control that a clutch would give, you're at those low speeds, um, so that's the only time it's a bit of a handful. And uh, personally, I found that quite challenging. Um, yeah, uh, on the European tour, where I was too up for the loaded the whole time, and uh, sometimes it was uh, a nerve wracking struggle. We were uh, moving at slow speeds, uh, very slow speeds. Um, and I, I, I began to to dread the points at which I would have to do that, which I suppose you could argue I can fix that with some practice, but that's that's not the the reason I got rid of, I, I'm getting rid of this, it's, it's a multitude of things, that's just one part of the jigsaw, and not a terribly big part to be fair. Um, it's supremely comfortable. Um, I've not ridden many bikes. I've, not, you know, I've only been riding since, what, 2015. I've not owned many bikes. I've not ridden many bikes. This is my what, uh, fourth bike. Fourth bike in that time. Um, but um, there's none come close to this for comfort. Absolutely none. It's amazing. And uh, in terms of power and comfort, it's unmatched as well. I mean, that was one of the reasons I got this, because my wife, who had steadfastly refused to come on the back, um, had a sudden change of heart. Um, and uh, I had a Super Tenere at the time, and that just didn't cut it in terms of power. And I loved that bike, but uh, in terms of uh, getting Susan to come out, uh, oh god, the seat was like a cardboard, uh, like a board, and you could have found some workarounds, but uh, they wouldn't have lasted for a long run. You'd have had to be continually stop it, or she'd be in agony. Whereas on this, it's like quite comfortably for hours, literally hours, um, both of us to be fair. Um, so there's nothing much as it for comfort, 
In terms of speed and power and stuff like that, for the size of the machine, boy, it can, it can shift. There's a couple of instances where you know, I've been on my game on some decent speed roads than those other more powerful bikes. Could not get past um, pulley because you, you got into the corner first and the torque just hauled you out of it phenomenally fast. And uh, by the time the fallen bikes, even with more power, had sort of got up to you, it was, it was the next bend, so to speak, if there had been a longer straight between bends, something like this, yeah, they, they, no doubt they would have overhauled me. On some of the wide sweeping curvy roads up north, I don't know, there was once or twice that I have to keep up with the fastest of them and uh, with this bike and uh, outrun some of them but it has its limitations when it comes to that it's, it's let's be fair that's not what it's designed for and uh, on many occasions um, I'd, I'd grind out hit the pegs cut the pegs off the deck toes of my boots off the deck and uh, eventually you just had to to back off a little bit because just pure physics weight, the wheel, the wheel base, you, c you can't keep up with some of your mates. And uh, that brings us to probably the single biggest reason. Although, like I said, there's not there's not one reason I'm selling it, but the one that has the biggest factor is some of the smaller roads that I like to ride on. This is not best suited to them, and um, if I am with my, my mates, um, this just this just can't keep up. You start you might start near the front, um, you very quickly um, tail end Charlie, and then after some time you you're pulling in with their all off with the helmets off and walking to the coffee, and I'm just pulling in, um, even though I'm knocking my pan and trying to stay up. With them, it's uh, it gets to the point where it's you know you are going to lose it, or something's going to happen. It's like well, hold on, this is stupid. And you just back right off, and you end up riding yourself. And uh, in the time that I've had this bike, apart from a couple of all, couple of noticeable occasions, I've ended up riding myself all the time. Now I'm. I don't mind that, I, I like riding myself, I purposely go out to ride myself. But on the flip side, I like to go out with some friends as well. And uh, I've just felt um, that it's pointless doing that because I hold them back. Um, so, that's, that's uh, some of the reasons I'm getting rid of it. I suppose another one which is a bit of a key factor as well, is uh, I don't have a garage and uh, I would say a Goldwing is the kind of bike that needs a garage um, you need to be able to be this chrome pipes on this at the bottom end of things and uh, while they're not, they're not bad, they're this Already with 12,800 miles, there's the beginnings of corrosion on the chrome because we're the best one in the world. And I, I used to ride all year round, and uh, for the two winters I've owned this bike, oh sorry, yeah, yeah, for the two winters I've owned this bike, I've, I've very rarely been out. And the occasions when I did go out, sometimes I got home and it was absolutely hunking the rain and stuff like that. It's a bit of a time for crying out loud. And it's went away dirty. And uh, I had to cover on and been left for a week or two. Until you get a half decent day where you can actually give it a wash. Um, and that's just not good for looking off a chrome on a bike. I'm not a fan of chrome, but at the time I got this, you could not get... Uh, they've now got the... The blacked out uh, 
pipes, you know, like uh, for instance, like the, the Indian Chief and Dark Horse versions and stuff like that. They've now got a blacked out versions of the gold wing you can get. Which I don't know, maybe if I'd have been there at the time, I would have got that. Absolutely would have. Um, but would it have significantly changed this decision? I doubt it, to be honest with you. Um, there's, there's, the, there's the fear that at the end of your PCP, um, in another two years time, um, what state's the bike going to be in then? When uh, two winters I can't ride for this, because I don't want to get the bike in the state. Which uh, I like to ride in the winter, I don't, I don't avoid it. But um, I will go out if you've got a, a dry day, salt or no salt, if it's a dry day, um, I will go out. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just on the way up to my dad's, I've got to drop something off at my dad's today before I head off for a wee run. And that'll be another wash, the way it goes. That's it. Done. Cold wing experience over. Anyway. I will see you guys. And we have our new machine. This is the end of the the Goldwing era. And the new machine. And the new era of riding will begin shortly. So when it does, I'll see you then. Cheerio bye.